Susan Harris at Quilt Lizzie in Warrington, North Carolina, and I was in here sewing today with Shop Pop fabric for the All Carolina Shop Pop, which um, I'm kind of happy with what I'm making out of it. It's going to be really cute, but it occurred to me I was doing four patches, and um, for a lot of people who are new to quilting, sometimes just getting the seam straight is a bit of a mystery. So I have some four patches that I'm putting together. This one is going to be like this when I do it. So the first thing I did was sew together my two four and a half inch squares, okay? So you can see that they're sewn together and you'll notice that I did not clip this little thread in between. I chain pieced them and I've got two or three sets and we're gonna work on each set as we go. But the first thing I'm gonna do is over here at the cutting table, I mean at the, at the uh, ironing board. Oh, that one, yeah, that's right. Um, I thought I hadn't sewn my seam together. <laughs> Oops. So I'm going to spread these out on the ironing board, and if you would just lower the camera onto the ironing board enough that we can see what we've got going on here. You'll notice I've got these spread out. Now watch what I do. I'm going to iron one of them one way. And what we're doing here is we're getting ready so that we can nest. And then I'm going to iron the other one the other way. So now look real closely, and you can see that my seams are going in two different directions. One's going this way, one's going that way. And I'm going to pick these up, and I'm going to put them together. And I'm going to lock those seams. See that? I'm going to lock them together so that they'll turn out nice and straight. I'm going to take a, a flathead flower pin and tuck that together. And when this is sewn, it's going to be a nice square piece. But I've taken my pin, and I do sew over my pins. Bring the camera back around. I do sew over my pins. Don't worry about sewing over your pins. So just, just zoom in here on the sewing machine. I'm using my quarter inch foot with a guide. And for those of you that don't know what a quarter inch foot with a guide is, this is the guide on your quarter inch foot. So when you're sewing straight seams, this is a great quarter inch foot. And on my brother machine, it just locks that foot, drops the right down on the foot. And I'm using laser guided sewing on my dream machine. Pivot feature, I don't even have to lower the presser foot. Now watch, I'm going to sew right over that pin. And I've got a little bit of crookedness here, so I'm going to straighten that out as I finish what I'm doing. And voila, we're done. Now watch this, folks. I'm going to pull this pin out, and I'm going to open this up, and I want you to look and see. And I know it's going to be straight. Look how straight that point is. See that? See how nice and straight that is? And that's what you want when you do a four patch. You want your seams to line up. That's called nesting. A really, really wonderful quilter taught me to do that long after I've learned to quilt, and it has made all the difference in how my projects look. And this is what I did earlier. Again, it's nested. And let me just show you the back of it. You can see that I've got the seams going one way and the other way, and we've locked them to create the perfect meter, meeting of four corners. Um, let me say goodbye. <laughs> and I'm Susan Harris at Quilt Lizzie in Warrington, North Carolina in my sewing room today. And a special thanks goes out to Jada for helping me with my video. And um, I hope everyone will try nesting if they have not done so already. See you for the All Carolina Shop Pop. I'll share a picture of my quilt soon. Thanks. Bye.